Hello everybody, my name is Shretex and welcome back to Star Sector. Now if you haven't forgotten from last episode, we are about to be attacked by the Hegemi main raiding fleet. So there's not they're not sending one fleet, no, they're not sending two. They are sending three entire fleets to try and take us down, which is kind of terrifying. Uh, I'm I'm going to be getting myself some supplies ready for the battle and probably some more fuel as well. I'm actually going to be fighting them in hyperspace. The reason being, because these two so systems are so close, oh, I can't get into that place. Oh no. no. Let me, let me. Please, let me get to where I need to be. Damn it. <laughs> Who made this system, everybody? I can't even get to where I need to be. Oh, no, there's no chance now. There's absolutely no chance. Uh, let's go over this way instead. I think I may have missed the battle. Nope, eight days left. It's totally fine. So, um, I am going to go outside for the main reason being that they're actually raiding this system. Not the one I was just in. And there's actually an allied strategic task force flying around patrolling this part of space so my hope is that they will engage this fleet first and then i can go in and assist them in their battle now it is only five days away i'm not sure where they're going to be coming from um wait where are we going dude come back don't he, he's he's run off to chase a single enemy <laughs> dude wait follow me command it might work brother brother no no follow me did it work no he just interested me Follow me, Bram. Follow me. If we've missed this battle because we were messing around over there, that'd be a desert. They're in the system, I think. Are they? Wait, what's this? <gasps> They're there. Help me, brother. Okay, this is clearly one of the... Oh, no. The Onslaught Elite Battleship. This it's going to be awesome. <laughs> uh, apart from that, he looks like he's got quite a few elite heavy cruisers and stuff. But his actual fleet, apart from that, is looking pretty mediocre. I'm not going to lie. Okay, but we, in our little alliance fleet here, have none other. That's not what... Where's my ally? You see it somewhere. There he is. The Maelstrom Battle Cruiser, which hopefully can tank the onslaught. <laughs> Moving to engage. Yes, I'm definitely sure. Uh, I'm actually going to deploy not many ships. I'm going to deploy two for the main reason that we share... Deployment point. So I'm pretty sure my ally will fill in the rest of this themselves. So deploy. And what do we have? If we, if we can, you get this comm relay. Comm relay allows us to deploy 40 more um, deployment points worth of ships into the battle. So look at the Navy. <laughs> in the Navy. There they are, everybody. The Allied fleet has arrived. It's going to be pretty hype. I, I really want to see our battle cruiser, though. Oh, they haven't. Oh. They haven't deployed it. It's in reserve. They deployed one of these, though. We haven't seen this yet. Should be quite interesting to see how that works. I like how they're not deploying the big guns, which, even though I think we probably need the big guns. <laughs> I'm not going to lie. We'll leave. I won't deploy anything. We'll see if getting this control point will allow our ally to deploy the battle cruiser, because I think we really need it. Okay. 65 points. I think that immediately went down, because it's going to give you 40. So have they deployed another ship? No. <laughs> no, they have not. Anyway, let's go and kill some enemies, shall we? We've got to be very careful, because if we go too far ahead, because we're kind of just by ourselves out in the middle of nowhere, um, which is not a good thing place to be in. Well, that's going to be good. Oh, it defended it! I can't believe it. I can finish this off. Come on. Oh no, <laughs> it's right there. Um, we're going to go this way. <laughs> so I'm trying to think what to do because the onslaught's on the right hand side of the battlefield. We want to avoid that. We have not got the power to deal with that ship. We allow our allies to deal with that. I'm going to tell my guy to go over here and we're going to come in from the left hand flank. We'll be a support. But I said, I do not want to engage that battleship by myself. I have not got the power to deal with it. Very nice. Don't mind me. Wait, why is there a carrier right in the front? I might go and kill that. Oh, no. Never mind. <laughs> if I zoomed out a little bit, I would have seen that there was a giant enemy cruiser behind him. Damn it, man. Deploy the big ships. I guess it's just down to us losing ships for us to deploy something. Okay, so we've moved around a little bit. 
I'm now going to tell my guy to disengage. Oh, that wasn't the right button, everybody. We're going to go and engage this. We'll see here. I reckon with the two of us, we can probably take it down. And with the allies as well. But I think the, this is definitely a cruiser, the same as my Haze. But I think it's... It, well, clearly it's a high-end cruiser. It's got a lot of firepower there. But is it better than mine? I have no idea. Taking a lot of damage here. Oh, just be careful. I don't want to get overloaded. I think if I recall, this guy has a absolute ton of armor. But we luckily have a lot of anti-armor, so <laughs> if we break through it, it should be fine. This guy's actually stopping me from firing. Let's go here, boy. We actually fighting... Oh, he's... <gasps> oh, no! <laughs> well, now we know this cruiser cannot take on a battleship, and that's also how we lost the uh, gust as well. Are you going to deploy back up, friend? I'm not going to... I don't know how expensive that big ship is. It's going pretty well, though. Yeah. That went very well. The enemy fleet's actually not that big, if you look at it like that. Um, let's just do another attack order on the... What is this called? Dominator, right? Dominator. For some reason, we're not using the point points. I'm not sure why. Hang a bit, a little bit closer. Like I said, a little bit. I just went into its face. <laughs> That's close enough. I do love these gusts. So they're pretty awesome. If it gets to 100 point points, we probably just deploy our own because otherwise we're going to be in trouble. Because that guy has now killed everybody apart from that one ship to the south. Everyone's gone. I'm being very cautious, so I should be a little bit more aggressive. I just don't know how powerful this is. It might just be able to kill me with an alpha attack, so... Oh. Let's vent while we can. At least we can get rid of its support, so before we go into the uh, the main show. Oh, one ten. Deploy the battle cruiser, guys. Deploy the battle. What are you doing? They don't want to do it for some reason. Uh, is it? Does it tell me this? Um, not really. You know what? Screw it. Screw it, the AI is not going to help me, I'll help myself. Deploy everything, go, go, go. <laughs> oh no. It's probably going to, everyone's going to die. Just be like, I think it's time to deploy the battle cruiser. <laughs> Damn it, man. It just will mean though that my feet's going to be directly going towards that battleship, which is a bit terrifying, but it is what it is. Oh, but dude, what are you doing? Oh. oh, I stopped it. Oh, that guy is... He looks pretty tough, but now he's got no armor. He will die it's even to me if I can get past his fluxer. Problem is, I haven't got enough. I can't defend against his... Um... That's a big ship. Is that my fleet? Yes. Yes, it is. I'm concerned about how close that destroyer is to the enemy there. Oh, it's over. Get him. Oh, it's, it's recovered. It's recovered. No, it hasn't. Finish it. Very nice. We may lose some ships here because I can't. Oh, no. Ow. <laughs> that wasn't that bad. Well, it was quite far away. It shot me, though. A little bit closer. It seems that we got some backup. I don't think these were in the battle before. So my ally is deploying ships. I wonder if it's because it was allowing me to deploy my fleet. Although in reality, I want them to use their ships and not me not to lose mine. But I'm not going to tell them that. <laughs> 
Okay, so we are getting a little bit closer here. Should I just deploy everyone just to engage in this main battle here? Engage is awesome, by the way, because it means you engage the target and nearby ships without, uh, without getting into too much danger. So it's a really good command. I absolutely love it. I might look at these giant <laughs> shots coming towards me over there. I think he's pulling back. It looks like he's either being pushed back or he's going to the edge of the map for some reason. Oh, I, I, need, I need more of these gusts. I, they've grown on me quite a lot. I, I kind of love, love them. That's a lot of damage you're doing right there. Okay, it's nearly... It's just... No, there's a little... There's, what, three support ships? And then it's just him. There's a lot of us. We can gang up on him. I'm not happy about my guys being at the front of this, though. Oh, no, it's fine. Take the aggro, my friend. <laughs> yes. It's got no flux. We're taking it down. Beautiful. Oh. I don't care. We're staying in the battle. It's a tough cookie to crack, everybody, but we are going to crack that cookie. The fat lady is singing. It's happening. This may blind people, just to give a warning. Um, explosions can sometimes be a bit of Oh, I missed it! Oh no, I was distracted by the guy below me. Nice. We have killed the enemy battleship though, which is pretty awesome. I'd definitely take that as a victory. This guy's like, oh no, <laughs> why am I here? That went very, very well. But that was the first of three fleets. Maybe that was a small one, I'm not really sure. That went very, very well. Good job, everybody. Good job. Took a little bit of damage, but it wasn't that bad. Um, my ally didn't even use <laughs> their Maelstrom, as we know. Uh, I didn't get to use my Shrike either. Oh, it says it retreated. Do you know? 3% hull integrity? I, how did that survive? That's, re that's re some respect right there. I thought that died. Or maybe, they, maybe they've um, recovered it. So I'm pretty sure it died, but maybe not. Okay, so pursue, second in command. We're just going to send all the small ships and hopefully we can get some extra kills here. Oh, the, how do we let this get away? <laughs> Sir, the giant Prometheus tanker, which is the size of a moon, escaped. But how? <laughs> we don't know. Just left. Done. So that was pretty good. We managed to kill one of the enemy things there. And also it seems that my Haze is now loyal and has more shield raise rates and more top speed. Top speed, yes. Uh, the musket can apparently has more weapon range and less point defense range. Oh, someone asked me in the comments, I think it was Carlos, if I got that correct, to rename this Grasshopper. So, DSF Grasshopper. Done. <laughs> Why not, right? Why not? Okay, so we survived the first engagement. I don't think I leveled up at all. No. And our ally is okay. He's okay. Now, this was the first of three fleets, right? Do you... Did the other ones get inside already? Maybe we've missed it. What was this? No. Important. Raid. Raiders are currently traveling to the star system. I don't know where it is. What's this? Oh, is that the rest of their fleet? I don't know where they are. Have they, are they already in the system? They might be. If they are, that's pretty awkward because I, I kind of messed up. <laughs> okay, I want to go into the system. Standing down. Can you follow me still? Okay, I'm going to go inside and we're going to see if they're actually next to my system. Because there should be three of them. There should be three separate attack fleets that are going for this battle. Uh, if I go to the nest... I'm coming, buddy. Please don't be dead. Oh, I think I've lost my ally now I've done this. Maybe. Salvage fleet. Raiders retreated before action. Oh, we got them to pull back. Yeah, the fleets must have been smaller ones then. Our oh, system is safe once again, everybody. That was pretty cool. I love that. Uh, I probably should have scav scavenged that battlefield to see if we could also... 
Austria try to recover some of those ships as well. So it looks like this space is totally fine. Nice. Because the worst case scenario, I could have fell back here and defended it with uh, the station. But then I, I rather that we use that fleet outside anyway. So that went pretty well. If I go into the actual base, I've done a few changes between episodes. I have actually enabled Freeport and ha Hazard Pay because it gave me um, way more growth rate. I, what was it? Uh, I got plus five from Freeport and plus five from Hazard Pay, which is pretty handy because I get 9% growth rate a month. And also in 51 days, we can actually finish off the spaceport. Now, I'm trying to remember quickly here. Depending on the size of your colony, you can get so many industries. I think it tells you a tool tip. Yes, so when we get to colony size four, which is the next one, we will be able to get ourselves an additional industry. Now, I'm not really sure what I want to grab. I feel like I might go for heavy industry. No, no, wait, that's not it. Sorry. Uh, oh, actually, it could be. Yes, I think we'll go for that. Actually, no, before, why am I talking about? Let's have a look at the market. What do we need? What does the world need? I need to know what the world needs so that I can give the world what it needs. I'm trying to remember how to get to the markets, how everybody give me like 10 minutes. <laughs> I'll figure it out eventually, it's fine. Um, it's not this way, that's all I know. There's a very cool system where you can see the supply and demand of things. But like I said, right now I just can't remember how it works. Um, so what I was going to try and do though was to grab this. Interesting. Yeah, I definitely want to grab that. It costs five, uh, 500 grand, though. So it's quite expensive. We're going to have to run off and try and do some uh, missions and stuff to get the more money to actually afford this. And after that, we can upgrade it into a shipyard. And then we can start actually producing ships and stuff in this base, which is pretty cool. Because um, I don't know... The problem is, that's why I want to try and find out what supply and demand is. Because I don't know if it's a good idea to build it at this point. Because there may be too much production for the heavy shipyards. I don't know. I don't know. But anyway, moving on. Actually, I guess I can check another colony. Let's go to one of their big ones. Uh, let size four, size seven. Let's go and check the size seven colony and they have more goods that we can look at. Did I look at this? It's just a uh, empty. Oh, discover something of value may be in the system. But we do all that later. <laughs> I'm kind of sad that the other fleet didn't attack us. It may just been that they realized they could no longer beat the battle station, because it's quite it's a level two uh, battle station at three. Or it could also have been that the um, other two fleets was tiny. Maybe it just didn't even do anything. Okay, so where's this colony then? Over there. I feel like I'm really slow, but I'm moving at 18 out of 20 speed. So we're actually going really fast. It's just that my time perceptions messed up everybody <laughs> okay so if we go to um kind for here there's a lot more stuff we can check so it looks like the global market value for this is 900 it looks like there's demand for fuel and volatiles which we can't produce where they are anyway global market value we're not even really up there. The only planet we have was the uh, the jungle planet, which doesn't really produce that much money. So it'd be good if we do actually get ourselves a other shipyard anyway. And what I can do then, because I'll be owning it myself. Look at all the stuff that's built here, by the way. There's so much of it. This is a big world. Mega port. VIC revitalization center. Oh, it requires whatever this resource is. Vic brand Gentech. Also, you got to bear in mind as well. Oh, wait, this isn't really gonna help us that much because I think the the game trades with itself first with the factions and it trades in the global market. Lion Guard HQ stability bonus plus two. That's pretty cool. But anyway, what I was gonna talk about anyway is that when I get to yes, if you get one of these, it's actually an industry as well. It produces as you level up from like level one, it produces patrol ships and it produces like set to patrol ships, and eventually it produces massive high command ships that go and attack other locations you can see here actually an established high command allows military operations to be organized and executed across the sector now i do not actually know if we actually have one of these this is our this is our main planet here just go and check because it's by a gate anyway so we have to go back this way regardless let's go this way 
Also, I think I can remotely mess with my colony. Because I have the D screen, which is pretty cool. I can just find it from here, because if I, as long as we're in cons range, it's pretty handy. What is this? Haze. Okay, so it wants to get rid of powerful shields instead of engine durability. I thought it already had powerful shields. Ah, but we'll change it then. Negative 7% damage taken by shields. To be fair, that may have been my ship that had negative damage to shields. Maybe I'm uh, wrong there. Is somebody attacking that faction? <gasps> it's them! Oh, it's one of the... Hed um, Hegemi Strike Group. The, the allies sent an addition... This must be one of the fleets that were going to attack us. But for some reason, they expanded then attacked this random place instead. <laughs> That's pretty handy. Let's go and join in this battle anyway. That's pretty cool. I like that idea. Okay, we could probably deploy most of our navy here. Let's just get everybody in there. Uh, oh, before I do this, let me just change that over. Done. Um, you guys can just be by yourselves. Sorted. I don't know why I'm not going very fast, but <laughs> it is what it is. Yeah, these guys gave us trouble uh, a few episodes ago because their ships are very, very powerful. Uh, they seem on the stronger side of the mod factions, that's for sure. But then again, since then I've improved my feet quite a bit, so... It was a very like, oh, that looks terrifying. Can we get an engage order on that ship and get everybody assigned to it? We haven't got long until that, uh, when that dies, they're going to change aggro to us. So we've got to make sure we get rid of these ships quickly. That's a carrier, isn't it? If I can maybe take it down. Its shields aren't great, though. Its shields are not great. Oh, I'm not happy about my frigates being here, to be honest. Oh, it's a phase ship! We need the haze. Where's the heck there it is? I reckon this is going to end up with some ships here. Station's down. Let the haze go through. Let the haze go. Through. What we should do? Let's re. Let's do an engage order over here. Actually, no. We can just do individual commands. It's fine. You guys, back up and go over there. You're in the way, literally. Um. Let's do another engage command on that guy, and we will deploy some of the smaller ships to go over there. And that escort carrier, which isn't that good. Just so they go out the way. Because I don't really want them engaging the main enemy ship, so. Oh, it's coming. It's co we need the big ship. Get out the way, man. <laughs> You're blocking the cruisers. Okay, at least the cruiser's on the front now. That's what I wanted. Um... Chain? Yes, yeah, so we've got some guys fighting over there. Get rid of that command. What we'd do, actually, we'd reassign some units over to go over there. This is there out of the way. Oh, that haze is going too far by himself. Dude, what are you doing? Well, he killed that ship at least. He's done, done something there. Oh, good job, good job. So you need to back up. You need to back up. So the crew carriers should be attacking this big ship. Oh, we've lost a strike. That's not even one of our ships, faction ships, so it's fine. That died in like two seconds, by the way. That strike was not very good. <laughs> I did a quick at a few episodes, but apparently not very well. It's pretty good, because the main ship has bats out from the rest of the battlefield. We can actually attack their other ships by surrounding them, which is pretty handy. Um, I can keep pressure on this guy, though, because if he gets too close to one of my ships and just takes them out, it's it's night-night time for them. You should not be here. 
You should be over there. Also, you're dying. You should probably pull back, sir. Fine pressure. It's looking pretty good. Oh, back up, back up. Oh, that's, that's forward, man. <laughs> Go back. <laughs> oh, I don't know what that weapon is there, but it looked pretty terrifying. They're pulling back by the looks of it. Near that. Fast as someone died there, but they retreated. That's fine. Oh, dude, why are you going forward if you're moving out flat? Doing it. I haven't got enough DPS kills by myself, I don't think, so I need the haze to get in it. Okay, I'm gonna cycle out again. We actually may kill this in a second. Back up, back up, back up, back up. Nice! Yes! Very nice, guys. We lost one ship, but we killed a lot of theirs. So I think that was definitely worth it. Oh, he just rammed into that other guy. <laughs> Out my way! He's got important business. Good job, everybody. Good job. Excellent. We have to chase him, right? I'm going to do it as an auto command, though, because we don't want to... I thought... I was like, what's happening here? My ships are transformed into something else. Enemy fleet has been completely destroyed. So that's really cool. I didn't realize they did that. So it basically means every, if you've got more allies and you do an attack, it looks like your allies have an option to send assistant groups to you, which is really cool. I love that idea. Oh, ooh. We can get one of their balanced command carriers. No, nah, we don't want that. We don't want that. We don't want that. That's not... We won't go for story points, but we will go for standard recoveries. We can just get this. Uh, combat Clipper. We're going to take the, we're going to take the carry for now. I'm sure. Recover. Done. How much should we get from that? Six grand. Not a lot of money. Oh, Roman has leveled up. Very nice, Roman. Uh, I forgot I even hired Roman, to be honest. Let's go have a look at that quickly. Uh, where are you, Roman? Oh, he's on the destroyer, isn't he? We haven't got enough crew. We haven't got enough supplies. We're, we're in a bit of a dire strait, everybody. Uh, so, what? how big is this? I like how I got some of their weapons as well from those battles, which is pretty cool. Inbuilt Advanced EMP Missile Tube. Okay, so it hasn't got a lot of... Oh. It has four slots. So, do you know what we can do with this? Because we have the... Oh, we can actually do it. So, first off, we need this, don't we? Oh, wait. Let's do this in the base. Let's do this in the base. Is that a pirate fleet? Why is there a pirate fleet there? Oh, yes, yeah, it's a secret leak. So, we're going to go into... Ooh. Oh, <laughs> the game's like, oh, I'm chugging so much. Let's give it a few seconds. Wow. Um, yeah, I don't know. I guess there's too many factions in the, in the game, everybody. It's dying. But again, it says idle 67% on the top right there. So, I'm not sure what's going on with the save. But we, we just move past it. It's totally fine. Yeah, so I was gonna. We'll probably head back to one of our bases and we'll see if we can equip this. Because I have actually an ability, I think, to install. If we go into F now, we should be able to actually install the service gantry for my faction. I guess I'm pretty sure, anyway. 
Uh, yes. So this will let us deploy planters. Build that in. Done. Okay, cool. We also want to probably grab the dedicated target unit and also build that in as well. Oh, is there only one building? No, there's two buildings. Very nice. Okay, those build those in. Done. Maximum range. Okay, point defense, point defense. I imagine these two also need to be point defense. So we grab those. And it's already it's already pretty much equipped, apart from the fighters. It needs more fighters. And this also probably means we should actually enable the Wincom suit, maybe. Do you remember we messed around with another video where it allows you to have super squadrons? And I said we'll do it when we get a bigger carrier. So that means that we will turn four carrier units, uh, uh, wings, into super Wincom wings, which would be really interesting. Because um, they get, like I said, there, we'll establish a new fighter squadron that can gain skills over time. So our fighters will become more and more amazing uh, under this tenure. So that looks a good idea to do that. We're probably going to have to head back to base anyway. So we'll get rid of that for now and we head back. What are these downgrades? No armor and bad shields. Fair enough. We'll leave that be for now. Okay, before we head back though, because we have a lot of issues right now with pretty much everything. <laughs> uh, sell the goods. We'll sell all these random bits of weapons and stuff. We won't sell that prisoner. Okay, I need more crew to actually head back to base. That's enough. Perfect. Okay, let's go back to our homeland. I'm gonna see if I can. Okay, never mind. <laughs> oh, that pirate fleet! I forgot about that. It's pathetic. We'll leave that alone. So, does that mean there's a third raid fleet somewhere, and we just don't know where it is? It may just be like your base was destroyed. Like, oh no! <laughs> oh, idle. It is having issues. It. There is. I think there is a slight memory leak with this game. So, what we probably will do. I'm gonna quickly just. Fix it. Let's do it, everybody. Okay, I think we should be okay again now. So, yep, yeah, it looks like it's making up better. Perfect. Okay, so we're going to go towards our home world, our capital city. Out of supplies. Well, that's not good, everybody. How many supplies do we need? <laughs> All of them. We need every supply in the world. Okay, so let's get some supplies buddy because we're about to have a very bad time there if we just repair all now to save ourselves some time there Done. okay so if i go into ooh, oh there's a deficit of these as well fair enough so let's go back into the builder and let's get ourselves a bunch of stuff so we want to try and probably maintain the same amount of distant range from the carrier for combat um, because if we're going to deploy this, it's unfortunately going to only be 2,000 range if we get this, uh, the normal Wanzas, which is interesting, but it'll be fine. So we'll go for that. Are we, do we even gonna have, are we even going to have enough room to deploy this stuff? <laughs> I don't think we will. Uh, let's go for a heavy trooper. A support. Uh, yeah, why not? Supports. Oh, we haven't got enough room. <laughs> no. We may have to forego this wincom suit everybody uh actually no the venting is 600 and weapon flux let's get rid of that a little bit screw it it'll be fine gunner there was a sniper i just can't find i found the sniper in the first episode if it's it's been gone forever uh <laughs> we know it's a lot we know it's a thing we just don't know where it's gone gunner is that a Gatling gun guy? They may be the Gatling gun dudes, which are pretty cool. Let's try this build uh, setup. Let's just go and fight like a... It's not going to be a proper simulation. We're just going to go against one of these mules and we'll see how it works. That's our squad. Oh, wait, wait, wait. Sorry, end simulation. I forgot the most important thing. We need an actual commander to run this. So let's get that sorted out. Now, if we go back into it again now, now it should have the wings thing set up. So, what is that? I don't know. Is that a Templar faction? I don't think they were installed. They're, they're designed to be OP if they are. So, um, yeah, there you go. Look at all these named people. It's pretty awesome. 
Okay, we're telling them to attack if they can. Strike command. What does this do? Top speed, accuracy, and agility. Ooh, that's pretty awesome. Okay, off they go. So what's that support doing? Has it got like EMP? It's I think it's got EMP. Interesting. Ooh, okay. I feel like the gunners are a bit weak there, so we'll probably drop some of them. That's it. This is not going to be a great combat ship, but it's going to have a lot of cool stuff on it. So, I did like the EMPs. If that is actually EMPs, that's pretty handy. Um, long delay. I don't know what it has. Is it the same description? It doesn't really say. Um... It doesn't say what that weapon actually is. Oh, <laughs> never mind. Ignore me, everybody. Ignore me. Energy weapon. Okay, so it's not what I think it is. We probably wouldn't get these guys instead, then. So it has a the same weapon and a rifle instead. Should we just go all ravens? We have a squad of ravens. Oh, I can't afford... No, game, please! No, there wasn't enough anyway. Ah, oh, that sucks. Okay. We'll go for that, then. Three ravens. And one support. Done. <laughs> That's not brilliant, is it? Um, this just seems like a worse version of the other one. It's a lot faster, though. How fast are these Gatling gun ones? 180. One Gatling gun squad, because I thought the Gatling gun squad would be better at point defense. It's got a Gatling gun. I mean, yeah, that's it. that makes complete sense, right? <laughs> uh, ooh. I dropped my pen. If you're wondering why I'm using a pen, I don't know. There's actually no reason for it. So let's go back into the submission one more time. Let's see if it's a little bit cooler. So many factions. So little time, everybody. Yeah! <laughs> I love this. It's so cool. It's time to engage again. Off they go. Bear in mind, one of these ravens could kill a frigate, so we've got three of them in one squad. Oh, it's looking pretty good if you ask me. I'm, I'm a big fan, I'm a big fan. Show sure about the decrease in range though, I think that kind of limits it quite a bit there, but it's fine. We may have to be very, because what is 2000 range? That's not that far at all, is it? Um, let me just figure that out quickly. I think I can probably figure this out. What's the range of this main weapon? Oh, so it's quite a bit. It's it's out. It's quite a, it's quite a bit further than I, I thought it was, but it's still not great. But that's fine. So we got that sorted out. Uh, also, this guy can level up. Can we get some carrier skills? Game says no. <laughs> um. We may have to re replace this guy later on. So we, I would rather he had carrier skills for this, but it is what it is. Okay, done. I'm happy with that. I'm actually happy with that. So what I'm going to do as well is go to the com and we just hand in this random oh, not, not com sorry go to prisoner activities and click ransom get you a little bit of cash there. Uh, also, ooh, they're they're just selling random. Did I sell this to them? I think I did actually. I think this is me. I caused this. <laughs> it's all my fault. I got a high command here as well. Interesting. The orbital works is lacking a. Oh no, it's got a Nano Forge, but it's not a very good one. Nano Forges are really important if you've got a um, shipyard. Which actually reminds me, we should go and find ourselves a Nano Forge for this very situation later on. But it looks like though, interestingly, the this faction also is lacking the VIC brand Gentech. So it seems that they've added in a weird mod item to one of these factions, but no one's built the facility for it, so everyone's lacking it. Actually, that's, that's a good idea, actually. Wait a minute, if I quickly go and... We're not going to do it right now, of course, because we can't. But if I go back to my colony... What produces it? Is it... Is it this? No. How do you make that item? I was going to say, maybe it'd be better, if, at least interim, if we just build that instead. No, I can't see it. 
Oh, weird. Okay, I don't seem to have access to the building that is making that resource. This is quite interesting. Does anybody have access? To, or maybe it's only for that particular faction that they can actually build that resource, which means they probably get a lot of money. Uh, let's have a look at that quickly. Produces none. No one. There's a global market value of 48k, 480k, and no one in the galaxy is making this product. How weird is that? That must be like a bug with the uh, model or something. How do you make it? I can't believe no one's making this item. If I could find a way of making this, we'd just be rich, everybody, because there's literally no one making it. <laughs> wow. Anyway, moving on with our lives, everybody. So I did actually, before starting the episode, um, actually set up a bounty we can go and do, um, which, where is it? Is it? Wait, it may have timed out, actually. Maybe I spent too long doing this. Important faction. I think it timed out. It was over here. <laughs> They're like, you took too long. It's over. I'm sorry. <gasps> I forgot we have this. Oh, look all this is. All our little pilots can level up one, uh, five times. And also, we can rename the squadron. It's pretty cool. Um, and also, also, I think when they get to rank five, there's a chance that they can actually become officers. So we can get officers this way as well, which is pretty cool. Um, I think it's pretty awesome. I like... <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's pretty, pretty cool. That's pretty, pretty cool. I'm not. I, I'm, a, I'm a big fan. I'm a big fan. Anyway, so let's go and have a bounty. Or is, that, is there a bounty nearby we can maybe grab? Bounties? No, not really. Spindle. That's an easy bounty, and it's worth 140k. Let's go for that. So he's rumored to be in a dwarf primary star. There's a lot of options there. Let's go over this way. Also, I think between episodes, I made it. I, I, I found this. I realize I haven't actually looked at a lot of these gates. So if, if I was just more useful as a human being, I would have realized that I could grab these two gates ages ago. I just didn't realize they were there. So let's gate to Nosos, and then we are going to get ourselves... Actually, wait a minute. I've got loads of room. We'll just fly over there. It'll be fine. We have to make sure we get the gate on the way back, though. Ah, uh, do we probably... Let's spend the rest of our resources on supplies because I'm not sure how long we're gonna be we should be okay okay so let's head out off we go we're after as well when we get some spare cash we have to buy a tug because that means it increases the speed of all our ships which is pretty handy oh is a tug one per ship it, it's changed a few times since this game's come out so I'm not sure what one it was but we need a tug in some capacity anyway so I think at one point the tug was used per ship or like per mass and then at the other point they changed it so that it was used as like a general plus one speed. But I'm not sure what it is currently. We have to find out when we get a tug. It's going to be a little bit of a trek. How much fuel we're we using right now? It's going down like crazy. This is why you need support ships. We shouldn't have flown through that, but it's fine. Oh, no, 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 no. Oh, I thought we got through it. It's fine. Okay, I think we are here. So, we have a look at these systems. If it's not this one, that's fine, because the one to the right of this uh, one here is the system with the gate in. We'd activate anyway, so we can teleport back. Look how much fast that loading is, everybody. It's beautiful. I think every time I save, it gets worse and worse. So that's that's why we had a uh, bit of a... Because I, I make backup save before starting a video recording. So I think I saved too many times I broke it. <laughs> but that was my bad. Uh, oh, what is this? Laying in wait. That's a bad sign. Oh, it's a mercenary flotilla. Why is there a giant mercenary armada that's out in the middle of nowhere? Uh, let's go and look in here then. The gates to the left. There is stuff here. There is definitely stuff here. Ooh, a jungle world. 
That's going to be worth looking into. Oh, it's not actually worth doing this. Not now. We'll definitely do a survey here. There's a hail! Hello? I'm going to survey it first. <laughs> Just in case it changes something. Class 5! This is an awesome world! So, what's it got? Abundant organics, trace volatiles, which I think is actually pretty rare on a regular planet. Or at least, like, habitable planets. Maybe I'm wrong there. I think they normally spawn in certain, like, uh, biomes and shit, uh, stuff. Moderate ore, rich, rare ore, ore farmland, widespread ruins, loads of experience, and it's class 5. So it's very good. Interesting. Oh, it's got so many negative stacks, though. So what's that? That's 25, 50, 75, 125, 100. So it's actually 200 hazards of rating, which means everything you have is going to cost 200 times more upkeep. Um, sorry, well, 100 times more technically, because 100 is default. Uh, but damn, that's quite interesting. Uh, well, we, we'll send the data back to our home world and maybe they will consider colonizing it at some point. Uh, you never know. So let's uh, answer the hail. A ship! A ship! A ship! <laughs> Gods, are we glad to see you! For the longest time, we were wondering if there was any, anyone else alive out there. My name is Rose Reed, and I can't wait to shake your hand. I don't, I'm not so keen on that, but it's okay. I beg you for a favor, go oh glorious supreme being. This place, oh no, well, Kalari, <laughs> it's no place to live. Not with the total collapse of society, with every meal possibly our last, with packets of raiders and looters seizing everything and everyone they can get their hands on. Please take us away from this world. We'll work on your fleet, all 76 of us. Sure. Why not? Explore the ruins. Ooh. I'll take it. Done. Oh. There's also a mining base. We we'll have to engage your automated defenses. Can we take on like five units? Who knows, everybody? Who knows? Um, I'm gonna deploy myself. Should we just deploy this and see how it works? We we'll witness its power. If it dies, can, can you imagine how embarrassing it would be if it just dies? <laughs> it's like ah, it's it's over. Ah, oh, look at our mechs go. They're so beautiful. Oh, it's already killed one. Oh, this is amazing. I absolutely love it. Yeah, this is a cool thing, everybody. And I can't wait till they level up and become even more powerful with their perks and stuff. Ooh, that's a bit scary. Yeah, so that 2,000 range is more than enough for it to be an effective ship. That was great. That was absolutely brilliant. Uh, take that. Explore the mining station. We have Tandem Flux Grid. Pretty cool. We have high resolution sensors. We already have that actually. No, we don't. That's a different one. We already have the one that reduces um, heavy industry or whatever they call this thing. Heavy machinery cost. Reinforced mount suspension. Interesting. We'll take them all. Let's double tap. Oh, that, that, whoever that guy is, they are cut. <gasps> An alpha core? Yeah, they're the best. Are they the best? I think they're they're up there. They're up there for the ones you want to be using. It's the calm before the storm. Wait, was that a fake signal? No, that's not what I was looking for. No, no, oh no! <laughs> well, everybody, we've gone into a situation which is not brilliant. Um, there were two bounties in this location, and we found the one that we did not want to do. I don't know how powerful this is going to be, but that's a lot of heavy bombers. You know what? We're not even going to attempt it. That fleet's too big for us. We're just going to leave. I'm sure. Question is, though, where on earth is the other bounty? That's a spindle one. So apparently they're near a barren world, the other one, which might be over there. So actually, there's not even a barren world in here. It's definitely not here. Okay, so we've got a little bit of time. Did I look over there? I'm not sure. I'm going to back up anyway. We're going to run away. There may be... Are they here? No. 
So we're gonna be a little bit careful here. We're gonna go around. Oh! It wants to- the Gus got, can maybe get rid of Doomed. Scrap heap. Effects from lasting damage. That sounds like a bad thing to have. Disregard. No thank you, sir. I do not want that. Please leave me alone. Okay, we're out of at the gate. Let me do a little scan. Anything nearby? No. There you go. We can now fast travel here whenever we want. We're going to go around to the south. We're going to grab the uh, habitat, which we saw a minute ago on the radar. And then we'll go out to the third system, which should be the one with the other... Oh, wait. Oh. <laughs> I forgot it was over there. That tracked us quite far away there. No! Stay back! Please! I have a family! I think, probably, I don't know. No, it's, it's gonna cut us off from that. Look, man, I just want to get to that loot, okay? That's all I want in my life. Let me get the loot, and we can both go on with our lives without having to worry about each other. Okay, hey, that's good, that's good, that's good, that's good. Okay. We got it, we got it. We've looped the looped around, and we've got our habitat. My weapon cache. A bunch of supplies, we take them all, and we're getting out of here. As they say, run away bravely, everybody. Run away bravely. I'm out of here. See ya, sucker! What was that? They're cha- Oh! <laughs> we have to- we have to go north anyway. Let's get out of it. That nearly got me! They nearly got me! <laughs> it's okay, everybody. We survived. We survived. It's not a problem. Okay, there's something here, and it's chasing- Oh, I just saw the flash up. That is some big fleet we're looking for. Why, hello? That's not fighting the Corona of the Sun. Also, it's not fighting an asteroid belt either, because that would kind of suck. Uh, let's go for it. The Chav- Oh, Ch Chavis fleet. <laughs> the Chav fleet. They're from the old uh, London slums. They're going to take us down. We're going to get shanked in no time. My fleet is now so large, we can't actually deploy all the ships in it anymore in one go. How cool is that? Uh, okay, let's, let's change this up a little bit then. So, our opening play, I think, will be not frigates now, because frigates aren't very good. It would be the two frigates, uh, destroyers. It would be the, it would be the cruiser. We'll also bring in the gust as well. Uh, the carriers. That can be the initial deployment. And then the guys that are not... Uh, that good can go on deployment too if we need to call them back up. There you go, I'm happy with that. Let's go for that. Done. Deploy! There's two comm relays, which is awesome. So it means we can pretty much immediately bring in the rest of our navy if we capture those, which is pretty handy. I want one up me all the time. Okay. This is the car. Damn it, man. <laughs> I think she's got a perk that lets her do that quicker than I can, so that's why she's uh a little bit more rapid than I can be. We must bide our time. Oh, I guess that means we found them, because <laughs> there's a big bong noise going on. I just call in the rest of our navy, so we've got our full squad available for combat. Oh, there's some kind of fighters there. They're very tiny. Oh, I got back up. Good job, guys. Good job. Oh, there's two shrikes. Not one, but two. A bit scary. Nice. Unlike previously, because I'm now playing as a destroyer, I could easily kill them by myself. Oh, there's the squad. The elite squad. It's doing bits. What if those pilots die in combat? They probably don't, because otherwise it'd be really hard to actually have a squad.
like how I can't break the shield with this tiny kite. <laughs> it's like, nah, I'm sorry, man. I'm too cool. Clips it. This zip is way more my kind of thing than the one I was. This is it's, 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 we try and find if we can get an upgrade for myself. I do like playing far ships, but I don't think this faction had. Maybe we could go for the, the haze. It does seem pretty far. We'll, we'll consider it. We'll consider it. That's some big missiles. Oh, is that coming from our um? Oh, it's back again. Oh, I can't believe it. Well, this is awkward. A lot of missiles I have there. If that, if they did that a bit earlier, they would have killed that shit. What's my old ship? It's alive. Oh, that's a big old pirate freighter they built there. Well, that must be our new factions, because I haven't seen these before. Oh, no, that's... Oh, that's those orb launchers. Let's see. Where is our squadron, by the way? I can see them talking on the top left, but I don't know where they are. Are they back down there? Oh, they must be repairing. You can tell if they're repairing, by the way, because if you look at the... You can see it's, like, twinkling. So that means there's something inside happening to that um, hangar bay. So that's like a little attention to detail kind of thing you can look at. This ship is not very strong. But it will blow up. Yeah, the pirate fleets are um, a lot weak. We are a lot stronger than we were before now. We are, we're getting up there. Our power levels are rising, everybody. I'll say we're probably around Super Saiyan 2 right now. Uh, we are getting there. Of course, we can still get Super Saiyan um, 3 if we want to with some bigger ships. And also, there's a Dreadnought we can get. So, we can go Super Saiyan... Um, wait, what was it called? Super Saiyan God. Was that it? Was that a thing? <laughs> the blue hair one. I haven't watched a new Dragon Ball. I know there's a new blue hair one, but I can't remember what it's called. I haven't watched it yet. I'll get that one day. Problem is, every time I want to watch a series back, I have to go and watch the previous um, content. So it gets harder and harder because, like, Dragon Ball Z is like a thousand episodes long, <laughs> so it'd take me like a year to even do it. A big problem. Finish them. Or don't. Oh no, they're doing it. They're doing it. Oh, it's about to escape as well. Good job, guys. Good job. Victory! Excellent. Ex- Oh, there's too much stuff. Excellent! Ah! Oh, money! And we got some changes in thing as well. So apparently they got sense of strength and vent rate going down. This place now has repair rate up and weapon durability, which is pretty cool as well. Oh, I've leveled up! Ah, oh, it's been so long! I forgot that was even a possibility. Actually, I'm joking. I didn't really forget that. Uh, what do we want to get? I think we probably want to get one of these industrial, like, uh, utility skills. Because they are pretty handy. Um, uh, let's see. What do we want? That's quite interesting. We probably have to get that eventually, but probably not at the moment. There was reduced supply consumption. That may be a good one to go for. Um... The ju ah, reduce fuel consumption. They're both so handy. Why is this game so handy? Damn it, man. They should... Developer, load up Bandlord, look at their perks, and just make half of them useless. Then it'd be so much easier to actually do this. <laughs> it'd be so much easier. Um... Ah, oh, also we can go for officer training as... Oh, no, we can't do it yet. Sorry, we need more skills than that. Um, hmm. Choices. Cho I'm gonna go for supply consumption. Because supplies cost a lot of money. And it probably helps that quite a bit. And that will also let us unlock... Actually, no, at this point, because I'm not sure how much main levels we can even get anyway. We probably should just grab... No, but I'm going to use a governor. This makes it... It took me like 10 hours, okay? I had to think about this. <laughs> uh, come back Come back this time next week. And I probably would have decided what to do. If, I can change it whenever I want, though, can't I? But my gut feeling is telling me... Supply consumption to save money. So we'll go for that for now. And that also means next time we can... Uh, oh, no, we can't. I was going to say, I want to... What are these ones? Deployment points per D mod. Interesting. 
Um, and this one makes all your ships recoverable. Very interesting as well. I do like the idea of getting high quality officers. So this one, plus two officers you can command, plus two command points, and plus one operatives, which are like spies. This one is max level, a number of elite skills. So I'm definitely going for the officer training one uh, at a later date. I think we'll get another skill first. We'll figure it out. Anyway, everybody, that is going to be today's episode. I hope that everyone has enjoyed, because I definitely have enjoyed playing this game. Um, we will be carrying on later i my next problem things probably going to get 500k and we can probably upgrade our colony with the heavy industries and actually start making money from it but that's the next episode everybody but bye everyone have a nice day bye